In today's video, this is going to be a special video, especially for you football fans, those of you guys that love the real X's and O's of the game. We're going to kind of do a bouncing tutorial. We're going to take some content off of the off of uh, other people's YouTube channels. This is not uh, Madden related. It's primarily football related, but it does cross apply to Madden, and we're going to unpack this for you. But I came across this last year towards the end of Madden 20. I thought it was so helpful for me um, as I was learning a little bit about the running game, and so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about why Kyle Shanahan is one of the best offensive minds in the NFL. All right. We're going to start by watching this quick video and I'm going to load into practice mode with the 49ers playbook. So I just wanted you to show, show you that. But for those of you that are new to my channel, what I do here is I do Madden tips. I typically will do um, four videos a day here on YouTube. You can find this video on YouTube. All you got to do is just search Alex Gibbs coaching the wide zone. We're going to watch a couple of tutorials. I'm going to talk a little bit about how does this apply to Madden, what you need to know, and then we're going to jump into practice mode and actually show you some of the things that Alex Gibbs is talking about and how it does relate. But for those of you that have never been to my channel, like I said, I upload four videos a day. I would love for you to subscribe. Um, you can do that by clicking the little subscribe button right down here. And also join my texting membership. There is uh, my numbers in the description of the video, but basically you can get access to exclusive Madden tips and tricks that I only share with my texting members every single week. It's completely free. All you have to do is text me and let me know you want to be a part about part of it. All right, let's, let's stop talking. Let's jump in. Listen to the expert. Now, Alex Gibbs, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, let me just just do this really, really quick so you get some background. I really want to go in depth um, with this, and I do want to talk about where Alex Gibbs was um, before. So Alex Gibbs is an offensive line coach is really what he um, specializes in. But he was the offensive line coach. He's a well-known proponent of the zone blocking scheme, popularized popularized its use while he was an offensive line coach of the Denver Broncos. Denver became famous at that time for its use of smaller, more agile offensive linemen, successive running backs, most notably Terrell Davis. So this is how, this is how Kyle Shanahan came to know this scheme. He learned it from Alex Gibbs. And so we're going to jump right in here. And of course his dad, Mike Shanahan, who was the coach of the Broncos during that time. So let's check this video out here real quick. And then I will be right back. Literally I'm loading into practice. One. I'm going to be watching it alongside with you. I might stop it and uh, comment on some things. Alex Gibbs uh, over Chandler High School. Been having a clinic here today and sharing ideas on wide zone. Uh, the keeper game, how they marry into the power and, and the reads. Um, a lot of great ideas shared, uh, ideas that I think are really up to date and modern and, and, and marry up uh, no matter what level, high school, college, pro, uh, however you want to aim everything at, okay? And out of that comes the idea of the, the three-step read. Now, a lot of people get this confused, and, and so as I get going, if, if, if you, if you want to jump into something, just fire away. But at the end of the third step, I think he will know what he's going to do because he's going to Real quick, for those of you guys watching, what, what he's talking about right here, he's talking about the end of the third step, meaning the third step of the running back. So the running back in the wide zone scheme is going to take what I call three gather steps, three quick steps to then identify what he's going to do. Um, and so Alex Gibbs is going to talk a little bit more about that. Either bounce out or he's going to put his foot in the ground and go downhill, okay? And when I say go downhill, I mean he's going to then turn north. He's going that way, or he's going to bounce. And the third step is when he will know which one it is, but it'll take him four or five to actually get his body in a position to do which one of those two he's going to do. So he's going to get his foot ready to plant here and go that way, or he's going to take that foot and go that way. Okay, But he doesn't have any other choices. He does not have any other choices. No, there is not a cutback theory, but if you study the film, if you study the way it's textured, the cutback is geared off of the aim and spots of what is happening up here, okay? And this is where, as we evolve, we realize how much 
information that was out there and how much we could share and learn when we studied film. And that's part of what you're going to even be shocked. I don't care if you've been in this system for five years, eight years, nine years. I have guys come to me and say, I, I didn't understand it like that. I, I know we didn't either when we started. It wasn't like we had all these damn answers. We were just trying to find a way to get the ball out on the edge and not be a cutback. Now, I don't call that a cutback, okay? And I have a way of measuring it. I know exactly how far that is. But what I'm trying to do is make the defenders all contain it and keep the spacing the same as where they started. Now, that is hard on defense. I don't give a shit what they tell you. That's hard to do. Because when you run up in here, what are they telling you to do back here? Hold your spot. Hold your spot. Because it's going to come back to you. That ball ain't coming back to those guys back there, okay? So, for instance, this guy that's playing this outside linebacker or defensive end, if it's a defensive end, he's taught to keep that ball on his inside. So he's now got to run about four yards to plant the spot to make the ball do something, okay? Now what is the next pressure? How about the next guy inside of him? What's he got to do? He's got to transpose his spot and get where? in the same relationship that he did when he started to this guy. So they got to move, and they got to move, and they got to move. Now, the cutbacks occur because what happens to some of the lard asses that are in there? What happens? They can't get there, right? Or they're late, or they stepped where? The wrong way. Or as they made contact, they, they, they were out of control because now it isn't happening right in front of you. It's happening over here or over there. So as these people... They don't feel the creases, and it looks like a cutback because you got a, somebody back here that didn't get started, and everybody else got all the way over here, and that's when it came down. Now, obviously, if this guy loses a contain, which is going to be part of what I'm going to teach him in the read, is that ball's bouncing. It's going outside. So it, it's set for one of those two things, and as we measure it, there's just all kind of criteria. When we put film on here, you're going to be really amazed at how it all works. We tell that tailback that without saying a word, you tell. So he just said a lot right there. I want to interject before we jump into the clips. What he's talking about is, and we're going to show you this in practice mode here in just a second, but what he's talking about is basically at that third step, the running back, as he's coming this direction, he either has the option to go this way or he has the option to bounce it out. That's the only two options. He does not, and, and at least the way he coached it, you do not want to come all the way back around. Now, I I would say in Madden, that's a little, you can do some of that. But what I want you to catch is the idea that it is not a cutback. It is three steps, and it is either vertical or it is three steps, and it is bouncing. Okay, let's jump back to Alex Gibbs. Take your three steps, and you make your read. The guy that the center is blocking it doesn't matter whether it's a shade nose, a straight up and down nose, an inside two technique, because any one of those three structures, he's going to be working to the play side, okay? And this tailback in this center should be on a direct line. If your tailback is ever behind your center, you have no wide zone play. If he's way ahead of your center, you have no center. <laughs> you better go get one. So we want these guys to force the Ooh. thing. Only thing I would do different than you are right here, take that back if you would. What I would teach the left tackle, and that's my baby, is uh, <coughs> it's, uh, I never man up anything. I always sift. On the back edge, some branch of the guy is right there, and there's any human being in the world back there, I'm going there. That guy comes there, I'm going to the next one. I'm going to the next, I'm going to the next one. We have, a, we have a run pass option on the back side, so our left tackle. He has to he, stay. He, the quarterback's giving him a call saying you're staying. It, well, if, he, yeah. if, if, if I've got one of those, i, yeah. I, I got to honor all that, that premise. But, you can see what I'm saying. I, yeah. is, is, anybody that ran around there, he, 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 he can go out there and sell hot dogs for a while. 
we just can't, like I said, in this, if the quarterback sees what he wants, can't have the end of the throw away. So that's why he gives a call to the tackle and he's locked. So from the left guard over, everybody's doing the wide zone. The left tackle's not. He's got gotcha. to And right. that's the reason, because you got your quick screen yeah. concepts. I think they overdo that. You know, I also hate it when they throw it in my practices and I got a running play call. <laughs> I mean, no, we block it. Every time they throw it, so we block it the best. That's what I said. <laughs> and then when we hand off, we block like crap. But it's just like you said, technique here. He's got to get his head play side. He's working to get his head play side, and then left the lane opens up. So it looks like a cutback, but he's just going north and south. Yeah, you think that's a cutback, but you look, 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 look where this thing is up now. I mean, this thing, this thing is, is over here about seven yards. <laughs> And if you look where the tight end started, take it back, and this is how I try to teach the dirt. See where he crossed the left? Right where my finger you was. This is where the tight end was. You know what's funny? The wide is watching this right now, I'm coaching. That guy is with the center. Look at our running back. That's, he's, he's with the center. That right. is the measure stick. Mm -hmm. And I, I can tell the very minute when one, when something really bad happens, one of those two is off. So I'm not sure if you caught what he said. So he's talked about the center being the measuring stick. What that means is he needs for the for the play to work right. This running back cannot outrun this guy. If this running back outruns this guy, then this guy right here or this guy, they're going to be able to stop this. As you see in this is in, in this cut up right here, what is happening is it's not a cutback as you see they pointed out in the video. What it really is is it's just literally him cutting right forward that's all he's doing he's cutting right forward but he hasn't outran his blockers that is one of the biggest tips that i can give you um we're gonna jump over here into game and i'm gonna break this down for you um in madden 21 and we're gonna talk about this specifically i got the niners book loaded up here we're gonna use raheem mostert who i in my opinion is one of the better running backs um in the madden 21 might be the best running back in regs and the way the Niners would do it is they would actually run it from like slot close. Now, wide zone and the way that it's blocked, in my opinion, you can use HB Blast. This is if you're in I form, it's called HB Blast in Madden. Um, if you're in single back ace, you see we can actually run zone weak halfback zone weak that is wide zone weak stretch is a different blocking scheme so we're gonna we're gonna break that down for you we're gonna start here in ace and then we'll go to the two back at and, and like uh, Coach Gibbs said, you, it doesn't matter uh, what the blocking scheme is whatsoever. You don't have to have any um, anything in particular for that. So, all right, I'm going to jump back over here into game. And we're just going to run this a couple times, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to let the computer make the decision first, and then I'm going to take over in just a minute. So, snap of the ball. We're just going to run it. And I just want you to see what happens. So, and you'll notice a couple of times, watch watch the linebackers and watch what happens to the running back based off what the linebackers, what happens. There you see it executes perfectly. It comes right up, ends up going for a touchdown. This next play that you're going to see, uh, or in the first play you saw, the linebacker came through. Watch how the running back typically does not cut it out. He typically is just going straight up the field. He's not really cutting out, um, in fact. And in most of these clips, he is literally just going to walk forward. As you saw right there, there was a good block shed and good things like that. Now, we're going to start breaking this down here in just a minute. But I do want you to just kind of watch it and get a feel for how the play runs. In fact, if you're actually running this play in, 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 a, in a match... You can actually experiment a little bit with just letting the computer run the ball. I know that sounds, you know, like not competitive, not something I would ever come out of my mouth. Just let the computer do it for you. With how hard or with how sticky the computer can get in this year's game, it's actually crazy. It really is. Um, and you might just test it out and just be pleasantly surprised. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to jump into instant replay and we are going to talk a little bit about this, this very, very uh, special running play. So we talked about, you heard Alex Gibbs talking about how the center and the running back have to be on a direct line. What, what he means by that, you see here, you see how they're on this direct line right here? See this right here? This is the critical component. You, your center needs to be out in front of your running back. If not, 
If if the if they're not either even or the center's just a little bit in front, that's a problem. Here the running back gets the ball. He takes one, two, three. Now on that third step, that third step is when he makes his decision. Am I going to cut it to the outside? As you can see right here, this is what Coach Gibbs was talking about when he said it doesn't matter who sheds to the outside. What most, The biggest mistake most of you are probably making when you're running this run play is you are trying to run it like a stretch play. It is not a stretch play. It is actually much, much more effective if you try to run this almost like an inside zone play because what you see is you actually do have a cutback lane with this run in Madden. You can cut it back to the middle of the field or you can cut it back to the right i wouldn't recommend that what i would recommend you doing is running through this hole that literally you can drive a tractor through right down here just like this now unfortunately you see the guard um, did not work up to the middle linebacker like we want him to. Most of the time, guys, the user is going to be on this guy right here. I'm just telling you from experience, most of the time, this is the user. And what it boils down to for your success, for your success in running this run play, if you stay behind your blocks, this center or the, the middle linebacker is going to get caught up in this mush right here. This cutback lane, you're going to come right through here. And then what I want to do is actually come out left. So I'm going to jump in now and run the ball myself. And I want to show you a little bit about, you know, kind of, I'm going to take three steps and I'm going to make a decision. So one, two, three, make a decision. There I go right up the field. You're going to find with this running play, it's a lot different than stretch run. It's a lot different in the way they block. Um, and the holes actually open up a lot differently. You have to be patient with this run. Again, one, two, three, and then you make your decision and you live with your decision. That's that's the best way that I know to teach this run. It's three gather steps. Those two of them are before you even get the ball. So literally one, two, three, and then cut. One, two, three, and then cut. If you can understand that principle alone you are going to run for so many yards with this run it's not even funny and really where your read is where your read is is what is the leverage point of the edge are they shading are they coming out wide if they're coming out wide you're going to come right underneath the run if they're coming down the middle then you're going to bounce it it's really really simple one two three okay they're coming down the middle all right i'm going to eat my yards and he ended up getting through a shed you will find with this run especially if you have a fullback to lead it, you're going to get a lot of significant blocks by your fullback. So uh, we'll show it to you to the right side as well. So here you see there's that outside contain, but oh, didn't contain it all the way and we're able to get to the edge. Running this from single back ace or running this from I-form twins is really, really effective for that reason right there. Oftentimes, the one thing I would tell you is you can actually cut it back if they are over pursuing with their middle linebacker. You can actually bring this all the way back. And I want to show you how to do that. And that's through using the double juke. If you see that you have, if, if you see that the defense has significantly overplayed you, you don't ever want to start with this. This is more of a, you know, kind of honestly, as I get destroyed right there. Um, honestly, this is more of a, a moment that you want to do this. You know, just kind of in a in a in a specific scenario, they're over committing. Maybe you've been running this a lot. In that scenario, all you're going to do is just come all the way back to the right. And as you can see here, you can cut this run back in Madden because you have the ability to cut at a higher level. Oftentimes, what I would recommend is I deem the Mike linebacker that you want to get that guy to work toward. That will allow him to work much, much more uh, fluidly up the line of scrimmage. I want to show you this run from two back, and then we can actually keep the conversation going maybe in a later video. We're going to unpack this more, but wide zone really caught my attention last year and is actually even probably better than it was last year this year. So wide zone here, three steps, one, two, three, and then I go, and as you can see here, what you get is you get a much cleaner, in my opinion, interior running space. It's a much more versatile run than the stretch. That's just my personal opinion. Um, because the stretch, pretty much you have to, they, you know, you, that you have to go outside with it. It's not an inside run by any means. This one, you can cut it all the way back in matted. You can also cut it down the middle or you can cut it outside, depending all on what the defense does, what the defensive look is for you. Remember those three gather steps. 
and staying patient, staying on that line with your center. And really, the, the, most people think the read is the tight end or the read is the guard. For me, the read is the center. If the center gets to the right, if or if he gets if if he gets where he needs to get, most of the time this run lane is going to open up very very significantly. As you can see, it's very very difficult. It's also very very difficult for you to for for opponents to use her. I want to show you what I mean by this. Most people will try to do something like this right here. And what you'll see is this is going to be very, very difficult. See how the center kind of closes that off? See how the center kind of closes that off? That's what makes this run so much better than stretch. With stretch, it's in the backfield. Literally in the backfield. Watch. I'll run stretch right here. Watch this. Snap of the ball. Whoops. I'm sorry. I, I was not in a. I was not ready for him to snap. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I, if I get that nickel defense. Let me see here. This is 3-4 bear. But it might work. I don't know if it will or not. But basically what you can do is you can kind of get up here. And I might be able to do this. Like I said, it, it might not work because I'm in the um, – because I'm in this. But you literally – see how I can run right through the gap right there? Now, I know I didn't stop the run. But – and that's kind of partially because I'm using two controllers. With Blast, you can't do that. With Blast, you cannot do that. So you'll see like 4-6 four, six, four, six normal, for example. It's a really, really good example. So if I just crash right here, what you'll see with this stretch run, I could run right through most of the time and contain the outside. As you can see, it's it's difficult, right? It's difficult to get out there. With blast, there's nothing that the there's really nothing the defense can do. I'll show it to you. I can definitely show it to you from nickel normal. Let me show you this real quick. So literally, you you've probably seen Joke do this all the time. This is how he stops stretch. But snap of the ball, and you're just gonna run right through here. And look, there's no stretch run. The issue is, if you try to do that against Blast, it's a touchdown. And I'm telling you, it's a touchdown every single time. Watch here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take uh, Adams, bring him right in here, and I'm gonna go to my little halfback Blast, snap of the ball, take my little gather steps. Oh, the outside edge is open, and I can get to the edge for a quick three, a quick four. And if it's nickel defense, you'll see. Um, we'll show you here with like dime. So we'll show you show you this right here. So if it's if it's something like this where they're you know kind of keeping that over that a gap, you're gonna see. It. I'm telling you, like this is this is gonna consistently beat it. So to me, the blast, the wide zone is really really good. If you actually um, if you pair the wide zone, if you pair that with a jet sweep off of it, it actually will kind of hold the defenders very 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 well. What I like about it is it's very, very difficult for a defender to blow up this run. They can contain it. They can even stop it. But they can't really, like, they can't really blow it up in the backfield. You're going to consistently, you're going to consistently get at least one to two unless they just sell out, which is what I did right there. Now, let me show you nickel normal really quickly here before I take off. This is the run defense for stretch, right? Shoot the gap defense. And what you'll see here is against halfback blast. I should have ran it to the right, but against halfback blast, I'm going to typically be able to uh, to get through there. So again, comes down here, and again, if you you know what I would do is ID the middle linebacker. Um, that's who I would ID. You don't know why it won't let me. There we go. So I ID the mic. Now he's not able to run through, and you see how. You, because of the way the running, the blocking is set up, the whole the lane opens up as a as a much 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 better chance of success. Um, this is the big nickel over G. This is probably the best run defense that I can think of in the game for something like this. But they're going to bring this down just like this right here. And again, if you just ID ID uh, da, 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 Hill here, watch here. See how he gets caught up because it's in CI. It's 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 not dive blocking, it's not stretch blocking, it's wide zone blocking. So, anyways, just wanted to do a little bit of an in-depth dive. We'll do more of these if you guys want me to. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't joined the franchise yet, shoot me a text with what team you want to be. My number's in the top left. If you want to get signed up for the texting membership, also shoot me a text. We have a Discord as well where you can kind of engage in more conversation with us. We can learn a little bit more. I don't know everything about this run. I know a little bit about it, and so I just wanted to do this video and see what you guys thought of stuff like this. But to me, Wide Zone is one of the hidden gems 
of the running game in Madden that not very many people use. So just want to do a quick video on that for you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on stream tonight.